good numbers uh, yesterday and of course uh, very good uh, sales number for the month of October coming in this morning as well. Stock up about a percent and a half. Uh, Bharat Madan, Group CFO at Escorts uh, is with us. Uh, Mr. Madan, uh, first let's talk about the earnings. Uh, good numbers coming in for you. Top line growth of 15%, profit up 32%, margins slight contraction or rather just about stable. Talk to us about the highlights from your end. Yeah, I think the numbers were on the expected line. So we had actually indicated earlier that Q2 will be slightly slow quarter and you have the base impact of the GST transition for a year before and also the delayed in the 50 season, which now I think most of it is shifting to Q3. So I think the numbers overall top line was in line with that. Though I think we had got very good numbers coming in from the construction and daily side, which was a little bit of positive surprise for us too. I think which is what I think. Uh, we're not expecting that sort of number, especially in the off-season months of the monsoon when the construction demand to typically is low. But overall, I think both sectors did the deliver 40% plus growth in the first six months of the year. And, and the momentum continues, which is I think, a positive sign for us. What do the inventory levels look like uh, at currently? How are the channels right now? Well, I think normally since we had a very strong festive season coming up in Q3, so normally inventory levels are pushed up in the channel in, in, in September. And But the dry correction is going to happen in October and November when the festive season is on. And you already seen the numbers coming in in the October with the retail season very strong. This is probably the highest ever recorded retail numbers within the month of October. So it's a very positive sign. I think by the end of November, I think most inventory levels will be back to the normal levels with the three to four weeks on average. So you're saying uh, uh, in next couple of months should be good uh, as far as the trickle down to retail uh, level is concerned because wholesale numbers are very strong for you. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, give us a sense of uh, the input cost price uh, pressure because we've seen that for some of your other peers uh, as far as Q2 earnings goes. How are you managing the cost pressures over there? So we had taken the cost increase on the tractor business side, I think, in, in Q2-2, and, and we taken some increase in Q1. So overall, so far, whatever inflation has been there on the company side, we have been able to concentrate on the tractor business. Though we are facing a bit of challenge on the construction and railway side, the railway typically, they have the fixed price contracts, so whatever order book we have, we have to deliver on that, so we will be able to take any price changes there. And, and construction too, though we have taken some price increases in the last two quarters, but still, the entire absorption hasn't happened in the market today. We're still taking some hit on the PNG, which is why the margin see in the Q2 in construction business has been slightly under pressure and more or less flat compared to last year. It's part of the better offering leverage, which should have been actually with there. So we are looking at taking another price increase uh, going forward, I think, on the construction side too. So hopefully things should look better, I think, in the next six months, which is again a very strong season for the construction period. Set an internal uh, target for sales for Q3. What's that number looking like? So we had predicted very strong growth in Q3 and then maybe very minor low muted growth in Q4. So overall, we are still maintaining the guidance for industry at 12 to 15 percent. But the, like I said, I think Diwali season is very crucial for this entire number to really uh, get confirmed. So we'll rather wait for November. Until that time, we are holding on to our guidance. And then through the uh, end of November, we'll have more clarity to the overall how the numbers in the industry going to look like. Understood. Uh, also, give us some color on your railway order book. How is that looking like currently and what can we expect in terms of growth over there as well? So, really, like you said, in the first six months, we again more than 40% growth in railway business and we have a good margin expression coming on the back of operating leverage here. And we have a very strong order book of modded close plus uh, as of end of September, which will get executed in the next 12 to 13 months. So, I think this year, on full year basis, we expect daily business should be giving us a growth of 25 to 30%. There will be decent margin expansion of 2 to 3 basis, 2 to 2, 3 percentage points for last year. All right, uh, Mr. Madan, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, good luck uh, for the quarter ahead. Uh, that's the uh, escorts for you. Good set of numbers coming in uh, and uh, sales have been strong. They're on track to meet their sales guidance for uh, the rest of the quarter. 12 to 15 percent growth is what they are expecting. Uh, a little mix, a little soft because of uh, some delays in festive demand, but that should uh, negate in this quarter is what the management is telling us. A percent and a half up in trade. Last couple of days, uh, this stock has been on a strong up move. Looking at the market action though at this point in time, uh, turned soft, given up 10,400 now at about 10,000.